Today, I want to talk to you guys with Adam from FameBit about a question that I see coming up in the comments of all the past videos we've done here about FameBit about, I have submitted so many proposals sure. and I have not landed one. I haven't even heard back. What is going on? What is going on? We're going to talk about that coming up right after this. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and this is Adam, the community manager at FameBit. And there is one thing that a lot of, you know, like we said, they just they get frustrated because yeah. they're doing it so often. So I, I completely understand that. Um, I guess at, at the core of it, you know, there's always going to be more YouTubers than brands. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, you're going to have to send in some proposals to get noticed, and it does take time. The people that really stick with it and they get over the hump, and you know, some people email and they're like, "I've sent three proposals and I haven't heard back," and it's like three's not going to do it. I mean, sometimes it's, sometimes it's immediate, right? Yeah. But and I've heard those stories of some people are like, "I did one and it was awesome." Yeah, you know? I, did, I literally just talked to a guy's first one, one for one. You yeah. Know? But some people you need to do twenty, and then before they get even a response. Um, it just, it really depends. But what you really need to be doing when you're not hearing back is tweaking things. So experiment with your price point. Maybe go a little lower than what you normally would just to kind of get one going. And I often see that once you get one, it leads to two. And it just uh. kind of like... It just kind like, of snowballs. So once you get one, it, like that's kind of the, like they, there's, is there like a credibility or trust factor if they see the brand sees that you've done one already? We're going to start surfacing like those types of things, but right uh -huh. now they don't. It's just oh, a okay. weird phenomenon that happens. Like you, you break like the, they, like, they can tell that there's a reason why you still haven't had one type yeah, of thing. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, kind they can of. just tell by your proposal. So you really need to change your proposal up, experiment with some things, um, and just keep doing it if, if you like doing it if not you know that's fine too yeah. maybe come back take a break and come back i've talked to a few people that you know they um they send a bunch of polls then hear back they come back a month later and then boom yeah so you just don't i mean don't give up i mean it, it's hard to make money in youtube period yeah um you know we try and do our best to make sure everyone gets hired small and big yeah um, but really just got to keep keep pumping man cool. just keep pushing the gas so uh tell them then like the ideal way that they should go through the FameBit system to land that deal. Like, yeah. What does their proposal need to include? Make it short, you know, but I mean, sure. make what your answer short. <laughs> Not the proposal short, unless that's true. But uh, so make it as possible, easy as possible. The best thing that you can do is actually know the brand. Okay. So like take, take a second to know who they are. So that way when your proposal comes across, it seems more like you actually know what the mm -hmm. heck's going on. You know, you gotta imagine that they're getting a ton of different YouTubers sending proposals. So the more that you can show them that you care and then paint the picture on what you're gonna do for them. Uh, Not yeah. just a copy paste of like, here's my stats. I'm gonna make you a I video. Uh, yeah. Which okay. <laughs> I would say, you know, out of you know hundred proposals, I'd say seventy five percent are very generic. And like as a brand, you know, you're going through a hundred the ones that are going to stick out, they want to be like, I looked at your website. Here's how I do it. Here's what I love uh, about yeah. it. Yeah. So it, it takes extra time. Yeah. It, it totally does. But time usually pays off if you, you know, put yourself into it. Good. Does good. that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. If you guys have any advice for, you, I know a lot of you have done a lot of brand deals through FameBit. I'd love to hear in the comments below. Share your advice and your input about what you've seen has really led to the best success and landing those brand deals through FameBit and other places. So I'd love to hear all that in the comments below. And if you are someone who's kind of like, I've tried this and this is not working, read the advice other people are leaving. You'll get a lot from them down there in the comments below Just as keep, well. Keep plugging away keep man. plugging it, away it'll happen and uh, if you have any specific questions we have an awesome Facebook community group and you can email me directly at Adam at FameBit Adam at FameBit.com and there's a link in the description below if you've never heard of FameBit you want to start doing brand deals for your channel use that link down there go sign up start browsing their marketplace of brands and All start things. landing them making more money for your channel so thanks for hanging out if this is your first time here we'd love to have you subscribe I do videos like this every week to help you guys as creators grow your audience and your message so that the people who need to hear what you have to say can hear your message find your channel and have their lives be changed as a result. So thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.